Hey there, my name is Tristan Ripley and welcome back to the Chill Corner. This is about my fifth attempt at this video and the video is about my issues with chasing perfection. That is pretty ironic, huh? But <laughs> yeah, so today we're going to be talking about my issues throughout my life of constantly chasing perfection, how it has plagued my life and how it is plaguing the channel a little bit and how I'm going to try to avoid it and uh, not let it destroy my motivation to make videos because it has in the past. So first of all, I want to mention that this is absolutely not my first attempt at starting up a YouTube channel. I have been retrying YouTube for the past nine years. That's right, almost a decade. Ever since I was a very young kid, I started making YouTube videos and I was trying to get attention. And every time I would sort of get stuck on two things. I'd get stuck on the numbers of views of the videos and I would get stuck on trying to make every video as perfect as possible. And this issue persisted. Whether I was doing streaming or video games or comedy videos, I would always end up having one of these two issues come in and destroy the channel. And usually it was both of them at the same time. Also, another thing I want to mention is that I am currently a sophomore in college and I have never had to drop a class in my entire life until this semester. I had to drop my astronomy class because it was causing me so much stress. It actually landed me in the hospital. I'm not even kidding. I, I won't go into too much detail here, but I previously had a video talking about it, which is now unlisted and in, available in my old videos playlist. But that class caused me so much pain and stress that I decided I had to drop it because the professor was an asshole. It wasn't a difficult class or anything, but the professor was one of those kinds of professors who brag about making kids fail and brag about making an extremely difficult class that nobody enjoys. But either way, I had to drop it. And with that, I am trying to change my mindset. I'm not only trying to change my mindset about school, but also about YouTube here. I'm trying to stop chasing perfection and accept that my videos will always probably have something that I would change. But in the end, I just have to get my work out there and I have to publish it and going over and over and retrying and doing uh, re-recordings of these videos over and over again. It, if anything, it makes it feel less natural. It makes it feel more scripted, and I don't enjoy that. I like videos to feel very open and free, like how this video feels and how my past two chill corner videos have felt versus my reviews, which feel so structured. I think maybe I should look into, instead of doing incredibly formatted reviews, trying a format that still gives myself a lot of freedom, but that is kind of already what I was doing. I just need to go about it a different way and I also need to change my mindset. And that's really the biggest thing is that I need to stop thinking about trying to get everything to be perfect and instead accept my work for how it is, but still try to make it as good as possible, which I have always done. Now, the last video that I posted on this channel, which was a review of Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix, which I gave a six out of 10, good record, has a lot of issues, but a few fantastic songs. Um, that one I had to take down because I had two main issues with it. Number one, the lighting was terrible. The sun was directly above me. It was casting shadows down on my face and it just looked awful. And number two, there were issues with the audio. I had accidentally increased the gain on this microphone. And so some of the audio was distorted. Those two issues were bugging me so much. I decided I had to take down the video and I'm going to reshoot the first episode of the first season of my quick reviews. I think I'll do a different album and then I'll save this Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix for a later review. But either way, I'm going to reshoot it and it's going to be better. It won't have any issues. But at the same time, as you can see, I'm continuing my issues with perfectionism because the video was perfectly fine. I mean, it, it had a little bit of some issues, but it wasn't like it was terrible or anything. But my perfectionism is seeping in here and I've decided that I need to redo that video. But after I redo that video, I hope I'll never have to redo one again. I want to try to take a little bit of a break from doing the reviews and only do these chill videos for a few days. Uh, we'll see how long it goes for until I get my new microphone, which I'm going to be getting one of those clip on microphones for the reviews because holding this microphone while I do the review isn't exactly the most ideal thing. And also the quality, because this isn't made for human voices, this is made for field recording. It isn't 
you know, perfect. It's not built for what I'm using it for, but it does work for now. I think that's going to do it for this chill corner video. But before I end, I wanted to give a shout out to my friend Amber, who was asking for one. And I also wanted to thank you guys for the comments and the advice that I've been getting, especially from Hamuli. I hope that's how you pronounce your username. I really appreciate the advice and I appreciate all the comments and the likes and the views and everything. Thank you guys all so much. And I'll see you in the next video.